The, uh, the questions that you had on your uh, pre-exam, you had one motor that was a three-phase two-way bolt, 20 horsepower, had a service rating of 1.15, has no trouble starting, what size overload protection should it have? What kind of question is that? What are you sizing for? That's right, and that's under which table? What page number would you find that on? 320. Beautiful. All right. Now, the service factor 1.15 with no trouble starting, what, what number would you use for that? Section 1. No, that's not dot 52. I'm sorry, did y'all say page 323? Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's, that's wrong table. We're talking about heaters to overload, right? Overload. Sorry, I jumped too quick at the page number because I had too many people say the same thing. It's not a good thing. 319, right? No trouble starting means that you're in a standard setting. Page 319, that's going to be for a service factor 1.15, what value? 125%. 125%. And then round up or down? Down. Down, exactly. The next one you had was what size THHN wire is needed to supply? 120 volt, two phase, single phase motor, excuse me, two horsepower, single phase motor with a 45 degree Celsius and a surge factor 1.10. What page would we be on for that one? What were, what were they asking for? <coughs> they were looking for wire, right? Does the service factor have anything to do with wire side? No. Absolutely not. Right? They put that in there just so that you'd be on the wrong page. If you'd been on the wrong page, if you were paying attention to a service factor of 1.10 and an ambient temperature rise of 50 degrees, what value would you use to size a heater? <coughs> What value would you use to size a heater for that same motor? 115. 115%, right? So if you're sizing wire at 125%, if you're on the table dealing with, with where they're trying to put you, on the heater table, you're using 115% to size wire. You see what I'm saying? Wrong answer. I mean, it'd be there pretty big, but it wouldn't be the one you want to use, right? For one of the questions. The question said, what size THH and wire is needed to supply 120 volt? Two horsepower, single phase motor operating at 45 degrees Celsius with a service factor of 1.10. So the last part of that you would completely ignore because the service factor has nothing to do with wire size at all whatsoever. So you just simply take the FLA value, right? Times what? 1.10. No, uh, for wire size is what? For? Huh? Can you? What was that again? The, uh, for, the, for the wire size, what percentage do we multiply for wire for a single motor? 125%. That, that, burn that in your brain. A single wire for a single motor or a single you know, branch circuit set of wires for a single motor, 125% of the table value every time, right? The only time that changes is if you have a different duty rating oh, okay. with a different time factor. That's the only time that changes. So an intermittent duty doesn't have anything to do with inverse time circuit breaker sizing, but it does have something to do with wire size. Vice versa, short, uh, short time duty rating doesn't have anything to do with heaters, right? So make sure that you're not trying to put uh, service factors and ambient temperature on wire size either. All right, and then you had, I think, 